Good evening, everybody. This is with my partner in crime here today, uh, Mr. Fomo. Mr. Fomo, how you doing? I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging in there. Rough, rough few days on the market. We've given a little bit of a comeback. Uh, take your wins where you can get them. Yeah, a little bit of movement. We had a scare. We went all the way down Monday to uh, the 39 level. Hopefully you picked up a little BTC because that was a great price. We're going to start off our first Token Tuesday talking about one of the most well-known and debated coins, ADA, none other than Cardano. Now we are both just, uh, we're not financial experts, but uh, just transparency. We both are in ADA. I got in as early as 77 cents, not as early as, uh, you know, some people out there have. Um, it's, it's a very div- divided uh, <laughs> group in crypto when it comes to Cardano. It seems like a lot of people love it. A lot of people absolutely hate it. A lot of people I know love to call it a ghost chain. Um, and then for our listeners, would you, or viewers, I'll, sorry, this is YouTube. Would you mind telling us what is a ghost chain? You know, talk about some of the stuff of Cardano that maybe some of our viewers are not aware of. Um, the ghost chain just means that it's, uh, they're basically calling it a rug pull. Like it, it doesn't exist. It's, it's all hype. Um, but it's definitely not that they definitely got a lot going for it. Um, but Cardano is, um, proof of stake. They are, um, which markets itself as, uh, you know, more energy efficient is supposed to be four times as energy efficient as Bitcoin founded in 2017 by Charles Hoskinson and input output Hong Kong. Uh, the, their strength is that they are peer reviewed. They take an academic approach to um, building their blockchain. <clears throat> and that's one of the things that I think both of us like about it. Um, ADA is its native token. Right now, it's number seven on coin market cap. Coming in with a market cap of about 39.6 billion. Volume is down about 27% today at 1.08 billion. Um, volume versus market caps about 2.7%. Max supply 45 billion. Circulation is near 40 billion already. And the 24 hour change in price is almost 5%, it's about 4.75%. And market dominance 1.98%. Now, historically, Cardano has been known to pump hard and then slowly, slowly. <laughs> The uh, <laughs> coin holders watch those gains go away, unless you were in at 10 cents, but most of us watching this video were not. Um, we, we watched it go all the way up, uh, pulling up, pulling this up to 309, <laughs> and it wasn't that long ago. Those were you want to take a guess when that was? That was in September, okay? That, excuse me. Yeah, that was in September. It wasn't that long ago. We were at 309, it and now we've forever. fallen. We've fallen almost all the way back up to a dollar. And if you've been in Cardano, you know it had a big run up all the way to two, went back to one. We climbed all the way back to the $3 range. And now we're sitting at 118 market cap right now, exactly at, at the moment, 30, like you said, I'm looking at right now, updated 39.14. So it, it's going to take something to move it. It's it's not a, we're not looking at a mid cap. We're not looking at something like Stormax that's well below a billion. I mean, it, it, it's got some volume. I'm showing here, according to Voyager, the volume is actually down today as of, as of within the past hour to 608 million between. So that's, that's even the lower th- than what you had. Right. Um, so it's in a consolidation phase. But remember we talked about with uh, mistakes, it's not pumping. Not pumping at all. Hasn't pumped for a while, depending on, and sometimes it moves with BTC, sometimes it doesn't. As long as BTC is not dumping and BTC, we'll talk about this at the end. We're kind of, we look like we're in a holding pattern here with 43 being a little bit of a barrier so far uh, the last 48 hours. But we're going to talk about this. Um, there's a difference between buying and holding. There's a difference between what we talked about on, on Friday is, you know, quick flips. So maybe Cardano might be in the middle. It might not be a great hold for 11 months. I don't know if I would recommend it as a quick flip because I, we'd be lying to you if we said, yeah, by Friday, we're going to be at two. I don't see. It. I would be shocked if we had that kind of run up that quickly. But probably at some point, hype is going to pick up. You've got some things that they're working on. But but it is a, a kind of an odd token. 
We've had Charles on YouTube come out and say, Hoskinson say he doesn't care about price, which, you know, I, I don't love. And here's why. People have had their money in your token for 11 months, and some of them haven't made a lot. Now, maybe it's their fault because they didn't sell at the right time. But to say that people put people invest in you and you say, well, I don't care about the money, uh, the price. I, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 would, I would think he's saying we're going to do the best we can and we'll let price speak for itself. Um, you know, he has rubbed people the wrong way. Not, nothing against Charles, but, you know, he, he's very outspoken. Um, some, some people think hard to work with. Originally, remember, he was working with the uh, people that created Polkadot. He was working with the people that created Ethereum. He kind of went on, uh, went on his own. Huge plans, going to bank the world. Very large, gigantic ideals. But since Cardano has been created, you've had blockchains such as Avalanche and Solano kind of just run circles around them, to be frank, in terms of development. Let's just be brutally honest. So it's great to have these gigantic five, 10 year plans, but when you don't execute, um, I'm not saying they haven't executed at all, but when you don't execute everything and things get delayed and other people are executing, well, the, the, the reality is you're gonna lose some buyers. Right, and people are gonna people are gonna sell to make sure that they capture that those profits that they get, especially with a chain that is that has over and over again promised and then not necessarily delivered on time. I mean, you they like you said they've done a lot and they're incredible. They're one of the best chains out there. However, when you say you know mainnet is going to open and then oh we've got some problems on the back end with with the plutus you know and and when before you said we we're going to have so many daps by this date and then that that's not you know I, I i don't remember exactly how many charles said he'd have but it it didn't come close to what he said was going to be there so uh, eventually they'll get there but you know, if, well, it, I mean, that well, everyone be, says eventually they'll get there, but what if someone else gets that. there quicker? You know, there's been rumors yeah. that HBAR has more developing in Africa than ADA. I mean, every, every all you, you want to be careful what you read, but it, it, it's not like in Cardano, you know, really takes pride in the fact that they're got a lot of projects working in Africa. That requires a lot of people on the ground, a lot of infrastructure, a lot of money. They're, it's not like they're the only blockchain that's working in other foreign countries either. Um, so I, I I feel like sometimes and and remember and what, what are they into for a while. Africa? Like what is what is there that they've that they've created? You you know you we and I we both know that education isn't a huge money maker, not for mm -hmm. you know everybody, especially not for investors. Not in crypto. So when you yeah. say, yeah, we've, we've signed a, a contract with Ethiopia, that sounds great on paper, but what is that contract for? It's for identities and, you know, grade reports and student numbers and things like that. You know, is there money in that? Eventually when those students go on to, to, you know, become productive members of society, but that's not, you know, an immediate return. And I don't know that that return is seen through ADA as a token anyway. Um, and then, you know, so they, they also have, and, and give them credit, they do have partnerships with nation states like Ethiopia, like Burundi. But, I mean, you're not talking about the financial capitals of the world when you're talking about these countries either. So, uh, you know, it... Those those sound great when you say, "Hey, we've got a partnership with a nation state." But until they make a partnership with a with a country that really is is a major major power, then you know that that's not going to stir me as a as an investor necessarily. I don't think it stirs most investors. I just saw an article that uh, I shared a few before we started taping on CoinDesk that they have reached their uh, goal of planting 100 million trees. Uh, is <laughs> again uh, great accomplishment. Okay, I, and and that is that, that I think. I'm that, sorry, not 100 million. Again, in crypto, sometimes we over exaggerate. One million trees. <laughs> one million trees. Yeah. One million, not 100 million, but still, 
a uh, nice accomplishment, great accomplishment, but is that going to, too. Is that going to help people? I think that that was just Cardano, like IOHK and, and Hoskinson. I, that was a, in large part the community that came together and did that as well. They have a great community. They have they do have a lot of uh, activity online. They've got a lot of longtime holders. I wonder though, and if this data is available, I wasn't able to find it. How many of those holders got in well below 50 cents? We're talking about 10, 20 cents. So you got in at 10, you're still way ahead. You got in around, I don't want to give away your price, but you got in, in around somewhere around a dollar. You haven't sold. Your money's been sitting there for 11 months. And it could have been other projects that have been, frankly, done much better. And, and in you crypto, you've taken profit somewhere along the way because yeah. otherwise you've just had a roller coaster ride and you're sick to your stomach with nothing to show for it. Maybe you've accumulated more AD, ADA, but it's definitely one. We'll talk about this in terms of verdict, whether to buy um, or not in a little bit. Um, when it does well, you want to take profits. Otherwise, like you said, it is a roller coaster. You're going to find yourself all the way down. And it, it's kind of like a lost opportunity because, again, when you're not taking those profits, it's gone and your money could have been somewhere else that is making profits because when ADA um, settles <laughs> and accumulates, and what I mean is it's not moving, the price is kind of stagnant, it's really stagnant for a while. We're not talking about weeks. We're talking about several months until the next push. And when it moves, I'll give it, I'll, I'll say this positive. It really does move. I mean, it, it, for the, for a few weeks, it really goes, which is great. But uh if you buy it on the, at the wrong time, we talked about it's not sometimes what you buy, it's when you buy. If you bought ADA at three, uh, you're getting killed right now. And you've been getting killed for months. And um, I don't know when it's going to get to three, to be honest with you. Um, we'll talk That's about right. and, then, and you mentioned the, the forest that they planted. And again, I, I say as an investor that it sounds it sounds awesome. Like it, 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 it does my heart good to hear that we're planting trees but it doesn't, there's no return on that. Necessarily. Are people running to invest money on the right. exchange? It's not, it, that's not necessarily stirring the retail investors or, or the, you know, the, the big corporate investors. So, um, but the one thing they do, uh, they do have on their roadmap coming up this year is DeFi loans. That to me makes sense as far as an investor, when they're going to start offering affordable loans, and again, Cardano, one of the things about them is that they, you know, they're, they're into finance, they, they're into the DeFi projects. That's one of the things that I'm excited about with them when they are loaning money and getting a return on that money. As an investor, that makes sense to me. Um, well, yeah. And let's talk about price right now, because that's what people are here for. Uh, since we started talking, we went up from 118 to 120, believe it or not. So there, there you go. I mean, <laughs> it's almost like Charles is listening somewhere. He's like, I'm going to show these guys. A few dollars. I'm, I'm pumping some money myself. So it's at 120. Um, is it a buy for me? The verdict for me is absolutely I'll buy it right now. It's been stagnant for a long time. We talked about it. If you feel comfortable that BTC's kind of bottomed out a little bit, 39 the other day and that we're going to be going sideways or going up for the next several weeks, then I would say absolutely it's a great buy. Is it a great flip? I don't think so. I don't think it's ready to make that gigantic move. There's no incoming news you talked about that's preeminent that's going to happen immediately in the next few days or the next couple of weeks. That's normally when it runs. It's already on the major exchanges. So I, I don't see it going on a rampage and getting back to three within the next couple of weeks. But if you want to wait a little bit and you're willing to wait, and if BTC does steadily climb back up into the 50s, hopefully into the 60s, the next few months, we'll see. It's been hard to predict. Then at, at some point, Cardano is probably going to go on a run and you're easily going to see price moving over too. So 120, not bad. You're not flipping it, but you're going to make some money. You're going to have to be patient. But the number one thing, and remember not financial advisors, you're going to, be re you're going to need to be ready to sell when it pumps or at least take some profits. Otherwise, like you said, you're kind of wasting your time. Yeah, and, and for me, uh, the verdict for me is also a buy at this level. I feel like um, even if Bitcoin isn't necessarily at a bottom, Cardano uh, with its community, with the, you know, the strength in the market cap, I, I feel like there's enough money, especially total value locked, I think they're somewhere near like 20, 75%. 
They got yeah, I believe they got up to seventy three to seventy five percent. Right. So you're talking about a lot of strength in that price. Um, so it, when it gets around a dollar, I'm definitely a buy. The other thing I wanted to mention is uh, I definitely agree with you on it that it's a buy and hold because when Cardano runs, it runs once there's news on the horizon and it runs up to the news and then it falls once that news hits. And so it's one of those things where you want to you want to be in it when the rumor hits, where it's one of those buy the rumor, sell the news things. You want to be there when the rumor hits so that you ride that wave all the way up. And when that news finally hits, you can take your profits or sell yeah. completely out. But then it, it, on Coinbase, I looked, we talked about it earlier today. They have a, a stat on there that's an average hold. And I looked at Rarible, one of our Fast Flip Friday picks. And that one is an average hold of like six days. Wow. That's but by so comparison, short. Cardano, since Cardano has been listed on Coinbase, is an average hold of 77 days. Wow. So that statistic also tells you that most people who are holding it, at least most people like you and I, are they're hanging on to it. They're hanging on. Because I, I do believe a big move is coming. We had some big influences throughout some crazy price, ta- price predictions, 25, 15, 10. It's not happening. The market cap is just too big. So for me, and again, we're not financial advisors, when I see it over to 250, I, I'm, I'm itching to pull the trigger myself. Yeah, I, 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 I think you get back to three, but I, I'm not going to be greedy. Uh, we've seen these dumps now when they come, it's been coming hard. And, and to be honest with you, I don't see Cardano doing a 10X this year, even if Bitcoin makes a really great run. The market cap is just too high. I think it'll do well. But for me, it's if you're in it, Stay patient. Your time will come. If you're not in it tonight, 120, not bad. Don't expect to make up that money in 48 hours. But if you if you can hold for a month or two, you probably will be in good shape. I, I, I'd be shocked if within the next two months it's not at two dollars at some point. It's a nice little profit. But again, it's kind of one of it's kind of in the middle. It's not a really really long term hold, but also it's not a great candidate for a flip as we're taping tonight. And for those, I mean, you mentioned you mentioned about the the market cap and the price. I mean, for those who think it's going to hit ten dollars, that's that's nearly a ten x from here. Multiply the market cap by ten, and then figure out what's the market dominance. Once you know, look at look at all those numbers. Run those numbers. It's, it takes a lot of money to move there, and then consider the fact that there's over what twelve thousand coins out there now the money is spread over so many different places. Yeah. I don't think that at this point you're going to get a 10 X, not within the calendar year. They would have to have, they'd have to do some amazing things that I just don't, you know, they're not making the digital dollar. It's not going to be Cardano. It's not going to be an ecosystem like that. That's it's just, Charles is a very individualistic. He believes in what he believes in nothing against the guy. Uh, he's he's very successful. A lot of respect for him, but there's going to be certain things that he's just not going to get his hands on. Uh, and, and and I think established countries, digital currencies, they're not going with Cardano as their ecosystem. I don't I don't just don't think so. Um, yeah, so I, don't, I don't, and and I don't think you really hear anything yet, even with their partnerships in Africa. I don't think you hear anything yet about them becoming a CBDC, and I'm not sure that he would be into that anyway. Um, but it. You know, we mentioned the price, you're not going to get a two, three X, but in my opinion, this might be something that you want to have in your portfolio, just like Bitcoin, just like Ethereum. Um, This is something that provides you with that stability. Like we talked about, especially if you're buying around these levels, you're going to see that when it comes back to this point, it's going to see either a hold or a bounce. And so at this point, I definitely think it's a buy, uh, especially for that reason. And I, and I think it's one that you can keep in your portfolio that will provide you with some, some stability as well. Sorry. We wanted to leave you guys with a quick uh, market update. It looks like about 43K right now is kind of, a, kind of a resistance line right now to BTC. I've seen some charts. Again, we're not TA experts, but when it gets past 43, 45 is next on the horizon. So as of tonight, as we're recording, as you guys are watching this, BTC is pretty healthy, but just know there are no guarantees. If anyone's guaranteeing you that we're going to 50 or 60 by next week, they're lying to you. They're just trying to get hits. You could do us a huge favor and uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, 
we would greatly appreciate it. We are going to be back on Friday with our next quick flips. Should be exciting. Uh, you nailed one last week. I'm going to try to nail one myself this week. I'm already working on it as we speak, so it should be fun. Any uh, parting words for our audience tonight? That's it. Uh, DCA days are upon us right now. When when the market goes down, don't think of it as a bear. Think of it as a DCA opportunity. Yeah, you're going to regret not putting money in now when, when we do run. That's great. For Mr. FOMO, this is AZ Crypto. You guys have an amazing evening. We'll see you guys on Friday.